So. <laughs> so I just threw my phone. What's going on YouTube? It's Dustin and I'm back with a brand new video. And in today's video, I, I'm saying goodbye and good riddance to 2020. And we are welcoming in 2021. Oh, I figured that this would be a good good video to introduce the new year and I was kind of MIA for most of 2020. Even though I was MIA on YouTube, I still had a lot going on on TikTok and in my personal life as well. And I like to keep you guys up to date with what's going on with me, where I'm at in life. And so that's why I thought this would be a great video to start off 2021. So I want to use this video to talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between that 2020 had to offer. As most of you know, it was the worst year to exist. I mean, at least in my life and all of my peers it's the worst year that we've experienced so far honestly right out of the gate if you look at this video I said I give up and I was already hitting a really tough spot within two weeks of coming into 2020 I thought that that was gonna be the the worst of it as the month went by and I got better boy let me tell you, was I wrong? <laughs> that was all before COVID had hit. I was going through a lot of changes. That was my first time being out of school in 18 years. And I, I wanna put together a whole nother video talking about exactly that because there's a lot of people who may be watching my videos who are on the exact same path as me. And they may, may feel alone, but like, trust me, you're not. Everyone goes through this and it's just a different stage. So I'd love to put a video together that talks about that a little bit because I enjoy Enjoy the idea of making an impact a positive impact that is and I want to do that by talking about life you know I want to make entertaining content but I also want, I'm a real person just as much as you are as well and we're going through this together that's why I want to be open and honest and maybe that'll help change someone's day month or a year who knows I, uh, I had to adjust my camera hopefully I didn't throw anything out of whack because I want to I want to be exuberating exuberating Exuberating? Exu... Exuberance? It's a word? Ah! Enthusiastic! I was right. I knew that was a word. I knew that was a word that I could use. So... <laughs> so I just threw my phone. It bounced along my bed and started tomahawking towards my window. <laughs> Thankfully it stopped, but that could have been really bad. Anywho! Let me tell you, even though it was one of the worst years of my life, you can't spend all your time focusing on the negatives and it's definitely worth looking at the positives. I had so many awesome experiences and changes in my life that were really big steps and if I spend all this time looking at the negatives, I, f I forget that all the positives exist. You know, if people are really hurting after 2020, reflect on the positives and don't dwell on the negatives. It's not worth it. For example, 2020, I was depressed. <laughs> But in that time, and that isolation, the solitude from quarantine, I really got to spend some time with me. And I think that was really important, because you know, I'm, I'm a person who likes to go, 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 and I am going 35 different directions at once, because I love the chaos. But a constant state of chaos is uh, bad for mental health, I've come to find. <laughs> That year allowed me to stop and just get to know myself a bit better and my limits, my interests, my aspirations, what I want to do, what I care about. All in all, it was it was for the best. It, it was a very painful and hard way to find the best, but it was worth it in the long run. I just want to run you through my year. I was just active in general and then TikTok as well, like I was posting all sorts of content there. So to start it off, I went to Copper Mountain, Colorado with my brother and my roommate and we had a phenomenal experience. Let me tell you, the mountains are beautiful. If you have not taken a trip to the mountains yet, I highly recommend it. If you ski out there, it makes your experience even better. It was their first time on a mountain in my third and we managed to make our way from like beginner mountain terrain all the way up to double black diamond EX, which is extreme terrain. And we were literally sending it off cliff. I think I jumped off like a 15 foot cliff. It was probably like 10, but I like to exaggerate for the story. But yeah, jumping off cliffs, skiing through powder, skiing through trees, like such an awesome experience, such a great way to get started. I then went to Daytona Beach with a couple of my other friends, Tommy and Nicolette. It was a fantastic vacation and it was just what I needed. The year before we went to South Padre, Texas, 
let me tell you, South Padre versus Daytona Beach, whole different experience. Drop that. Trying to sleep in a Target parking lot. <laughs> when we went to Daytona, you know, that was right before COVID had hit hard and everything got shut down. We decided to just take it chill and spend some time in the sun and enjoy an experience and it was awesome. While we were at Daytona Beach, I made my first big change and my first big step. I got a tattoo! <laughs> I never thought that I was gonna get a tattoo, but here we are. It was an impulsive last day, oh, you gotta get a spring break tattoo. And I was like, okay, and now I'm fiending and I want more tattoos. Then after coming home from Daytona Beach, we moved into quarantine. Being a server at a restaurant, yes, we got shut down very quickly. <laughs> so uh, my coworkers and I thought it was gonna be a little two week vacation and we were shut down for almost two, maybe three months, probably from March mid-March until beginning of June. This was another great experience reflecting on it because our work would hand us out one free meal every single day just to make sure their employees are getting fed. We had a group of five people and it was the uh, unemployment soup kitchen is what we called us and we'd just go sit in a parking lot and we'd all social distance our cars and just eat lunch together and bond and it was a fantastic experience. Then moving on from that, I haven't told you guys about this yet and I want to make a whole video about it once the spring comes and I can actually put it out outside I bought a motorcycle and let me tell you that is a source of pure happiness I absolutely love it it would be kind of fun to make some moto vlogs or something like that I'll tell you stories I got all sorts of stories from my life so far and I'm planning on making a lot more I was, uh, pulling out pulling out my list to see what else I did this year and uh, there on the cover of my screen is huh? my nice little motorcycle while I was in the process of getting my motorcycle, my friend's dad actually lives out in North Carolina. We flew out there and had the time of our lives and we didn't have to go to any big beach parties or anything because we were in quarantine and we just, it felt like we were being kids. Like we literally went and bought skim boards. My friend Zach spent five hours just running at the waves and surfing them in and running at the waves and surfing them in and all of us were together doing that. It honestly just like, it felt like we were kids again. That was another awesome trip that I got to spend and just another experience traveling and spending time with friends really just making the most of life along with that we were just making the most of the summer as well snapchat Instagram TikTok, they were all seeing the luxurious life, but for some reason I just could not grab a camera and put it on YouTube, which kills me because I love YouTube. We just had a blast this summer. We went cliff jumping and I jumped off like a 35 foot cliff, which is the biggest that I've ever jumped off of. We went out and climbed an island in the middle of Lake Superior. You had to squeeze through some rocks to climb up and it was super sick. We then jumped off like another 35 foot cliff into Lake Superior, which was freezing. And it was awful, but such a fun experience. Now we're getting around October or Halloween season and I got a turkey obsession. <laughs> Not actually, but someone gave me a turkey costume and I was like, well, if they give it to me, then I have to wear it. So I decided to start an entire turkey talk trend and that was fun. <laughs> it didn't blow up or anything, but I, just, I was having a blast being a turkey. After that, I spent my birthday in quarantine. See, I had actually just gotten COVID and then my birthday was the last day of my COVID quarantine, but I just went for a drive in my car and had a fantastic experience. And that was still kind of in my phase and still coming out of it. But honestly, I'm feeling a lot better now, which is the most important thing. Because you know, I took that time to find myself and what what works for you, what do you wanna do? I have a really good grasp on it and I'd love to tell you guys more about it, but we'll save that for a different video. Cause I got some, uh, some videos to upload. For anyone that's made it this far in this video, here's a sneak peek at one of my videos that'll be coming in the next one to two weeks here. We are going to try it. Apparently it has Trinidad Scorpion, uh, Carolina Reaper, both of which are double the spiciness of a ghost pepper. <laughs> We've all seen how a ghost pepper went for me. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So I'm super excited for that video. I got a couple different ones on deck, but you're just gonna have to wait and see. And I promise, 
shouldn't make promises, but I promise. You know, so many people make false promises and I hate that and I don't wanna be that. So that's why like I'm setting these goals with myself and I'm setting reminders, setting ways to get to them, but just trust me, 2021 is the year and that is a promise. For all of you who have made it this far and made it through the year with me, thank you and I appreciate you and it's to you guys that I'm really talking to. You've made it far enough in this video to care. You deserve an update to know wh what you've been doing, what's going on, where you at in life. And that's why I wanted to make this update and it's for you guys. So I'm super excited for 2021. Fuck you 2020. <laughs> and uh, let, let's have an awesome year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking along with the update and uh, stay posted for the next one, uh, the next video that's gonna be coming out very soon. Uh, it's been your boy Dustin. Make sure to leave it a like and subscribe with post notifications on if you're not already. If you made it this far, I know you are, but just double check for me. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one. Later.